Welcome back. In this session, we are going to understand high overview of implementation project. Normally, when a company intends to implement SAP in their company, they will approach the SAP. SAP will visit their premises and will assess their business and a number of users. They will give the quotation for implementation. Again, they will, uh, along with that one, they will suggest the required hardware as well. What is a recommended hardware? For SAP installation purpose. SAP license is based on the number of users. If you have more users, more you have to pay. If you have less users, less you have to pay. That is the concept of a license, SAP license. Once SAP uh, buys the software or before buying the software, they will approach consulting companies because SAP after buying it, customer cannot use as it is. There won't be anything. We have to customize the software as per the customer requirement. Customer means purchaser. It appoints another company, consulting company for implementation purpose. Consulting companies means like Wipro, TCS, Tech Mahindra, Diligent Tech is for implementation. Among them, they will choose one of the best consulting and they will appoint them as a consulting implementer. Now, Diligent Tech is here, consulting company. Both the purchaser from purchasing side, from customer side, from uh, consulting company side, they will delegate their employees. They are called core team members from business accounting heads of the department, accounts manager, costing manager, purchase manager, sales manager, IT staff. They are the core team members. They will give how to implement. These are the consultants from the consulting company. So for each module, let us assume I have these modules in my requirement, FICO, MMSD. So, from consulting, for FI, we have one consultant, CO, we have one consultant, MM, SD. If it is a big company, they will keep FI and CO consultant separately. If it is a small consulting company, what they will do, they will assign only FI, uh, one consultant for FI and CO. So, now after uh, this uh, core, this, now, Consultants, they will analyze the job of the core team members. These team members will share process documents. Process document means what is the existing existing business process and along with the flow charts, they will share all those documents to these consultants. After going, these, uh, going through the documents, if they have any queries and any concerns uh, about the process, they will discuss, they will have many meetings with the core team members and they will prepare one document that is called business blueprint. Business blueprint means uh, what is the existing process in non-ERP system or other uh, ERP system, how it is going to be mapped in SAP, what exactly FI consultant is, how FI consultant is mapping, CO consultant is mapping, MM consultant is mapping, SD consultant. For each module, we will have separate uh, business blueprint documents. These documents, they will share to the core team members. So if the core team members are satisfied and they will uh, sign up the documents, so we have to get the uh, means uh, approved copy. So based on that, if it, if it is signed off, then consultant will start their job. So again, uh, during this process, there may be the gaps. There may be process in non-SAP system, non-ERP system that we cannot be able to map into the SAP. So they, these are called gaps. Gaps will be further analyzed to find the solution. So now what consulting company will do there is a gap in FICO, MMSD. So what consultant will do? They will discuss with the business and they will find the solution. If it is possible with the any enhancement or custom enhancement or custom development with the help of ABAPAR, then we can, means we will suggest the same to the business. If they are okay, then we will fill the gap. We can, we can give the solution to the gap. If any gap that cannot be, means satisfied in SAP, that means we have to inform to the business that Business means customer, this gap is out of the scope, we can't do anything. We can't map this process into the SAP. So now, once it is blueprint is signed off, basis consultant. Here we have basis consultant and above consultant. Basis consultant job is to installation. They will do the installation, they will create the user IDs, everything, they will take care of these things. And ABAPR means this is the technical model, means programming. If there are many reports available in the SAP, but if customer has a different report format and different custom layouts, then we need custom reports. So, Abapar will come into the picture. He will uh, 
these functional guys will take the requirement from the business and they will transfer this to the above for development of the reports any development so this is the programming one basis consultant will install will install complete uh, he will do the installation and he will create the client numbers and he will create the user IDs as well like here we have four team members like accounting manager costing manager purchase manager sales manager IT staff here we have consultants so we need user ID to log in into the system so basis consultant will create uh, one login ID for this one costing manager purchase manager like this he will create similarly he will create for uh, consultants as well now uh, he will create the client what is the client that we have to understand here typically this is this is called a landscape this is called a sap landscape landscape means for implementing any any sap anywhere in the world this is the typical this is the minimum again we can have in the development sandbox uh, and uh, golden client like this we can have other further partition for above also we can have further this one but uh, this is the typical standard one so this uh, client he will uh, client means uh, generally logical partition if you take the example of hard disk we have only one laptop but one laptop with one hard disk but if you see c drive d drive e drive that is a logical partition only so like this uh, he will do the partition he will do the partition and it will installed in separate servers so why we need this uh, client means uh, consultants will give access to this development quality and production as well we will have because we need to have up to the production development for these users for these core team members uh, there is no requirement to give the access to the core team member to the development because development client all the as per the blueprints fi consultant co consultant mm consultants and sd consultant they will do the customization here in this client this is customization enabled that means we can do customization only in this client this customization after they complete their customization this will be moved to the quality quality client quality means each one is a standalone systems here servers so this is this will be moved to the quality quality after moving to this moving this configuration to the quality consultants will inform these core team members for testing purpose they will test what is the base here business blueprint based on the business blueprint business users like accounting manager core team member they will test the business process business uh, means uh, uh, they will do the testing and quality server if it is okay if it is as per the blueprint and as per their requirement then we have to take the sign off here again you have to close this one this is okay so all this will be done from here here uh, consultant will do the customization will be moved to the quality so basic question can we do the customization in quality and can we do the customization in uh, rather than doing here and moving to here can we directly do the customization in quality and production means basis consultant generally in, in any company they will disable the customization option that means uh, this is only view consultant cannot be able to do make any changes in the background so this is the concept uh, same disabled for production as well that is the reason if any small requirement let us assume that i have done one changes and i moved to the quality system core team member they said that is not meeting their requirement what i have to do as a consultant again we have to do the changes here again we have to move the tr to quality system that is a concept here if it is okay then we will move the same to the production system so this movement from here to here here to here that is uh, moved with the help of a transport request so whatever the changes i am doing at the time of saving the changes in this development system we will save this information in transport request these uh, transport request uh, will be moved to quality if it is okay will be moved to production system now you might have one question can we move this uh, if this uh, i moved one transport request to production server after moving to the production server customer notice that there is an issue so what i have, what uh, as a consultant what we have to do can we 
again means uh, transport this back to here and here can we do that that is not possible again you have to make the changes here again you have to create new transport request for correction purpose you have to move here and you have to transport the same to the production that is the concept of tr and these three systems this production if everything is okay day to day transaction all day to day transaction live transaction will be means uh, done in production system only that is the purpose of the production system so whenever we should be means uh, if you are using the production system as a consultant as a consultants again we will have authorization to the business process only in display mode we can't be able to create any document or any cus configuration we can only go and view that's it business process business users business users like accounting manager uh, casting manager they will they have the means create option change option display option but as a consultant we will have only display display authorization this is the concept of clients again these clients will have unique number for example if you see here client is 800 here client is 700 here client is 600 why we need this different numbers because at the time of login as well at the time of this is the login screen at the time of login we have to input this client number here whether you are login into the development client or quality client or production client so that is the importance of this client now uh, again for this fi user for our understanding i have one user id for fi user i have one user id that user id created in development can i use this uh, development client can i use this user id in quality client means answer is no user ids are client dependent see again uh, we have to create that user id in quality client if there is no user id created in quality we can't be able to access for password also you can keep separate password for this one you one password this one one password this one one password that means we have three user ids one fi consultant will have development client user id quality client user id production client user id that is a concept here everything is being controlled through user id and again authorization so now these clients uh, will have unique server numbers these are the ip address server 1 server 2 server 3 this is the landscape this is this is called a landscape development quality and production this will be for the consultants this will be for the business users for testing this is for all business users for feeding the data now we are uh, now today is november 4 2019 2019 for moving this our project deadline is 17 from 17 customer wants to use sap they want to stop the existing software that is called go live date this is the deadline for our consulting company whatever the configuration whatever the means developments configuration training to the user everything should have completed before this date everything configuration development what is the difference between the configuration and development means these are called fi co mm sd these are called functional consultant the, uh, sorry uh, those are called functional consultant coming to the basis and abapar uh, this uh, this is are the technical model coming to the abap changes for example we created one report here based on the customer request they need one custom layout report we did, we created that in development again we have to same concept we have to move to quality and we have to move from quality to the production these are called development changes these are called development customization customization means functional whatever the configuration done by the functional consultant is called customization whatever the changes coding everything enhancement done by the abapar is called development so whatever the developments whatever the uh, customization and training to the business users should be completed before this day because they want to use this system should be ready this system should be ready before this date 17 2020 
so next from 172020 if generally typically for any company this is a customer and diligent tech is his consulting company in consulting company this one one month is let us assume i did one configuration here as a fico consultant and business uh, custom uh, core team member tested here they said okay and we moved this uh, transport request to the production after they start uh, live feeding the data from 17 they noticed that there is an issue in the business process means uh, in one process they have an issue what they will do immediately immediately they will approach to the these uh, consultants they will means they will uh, raise the query means uh, ticket for this one so typically in any implementation there after go live date there will be support support by the consultants means company here diligent tech is at least for 15 days maybe it may be one month or two months based on the customer requirement so let us assume here we have support till 317201 month support this is called hyper care support hyper care support means here fi consultant co mmsd they did the configuration they should be available up to this date 317-2020. After this date only, they can be able to move to the next project. So, what will happen after next date? Before this date, 317. Let us let us further resume that this customer will have an another PO for support. Support means we are live now from 17-2020 live now. We have one month support. After this support, 1st August 2020 for one year, they are appointing diligent techies for AMC. so if we are the amc consultant our existing implementation consultant will have to transfer kt kt means knowledge transfer kt will have to transfer kt to support team before this date so that from first if any issue is uh, uh, coming after first 18 uh, 31st 7 2020 support team will take care of these issues these implementation consultants will be moved to the next project if they have any implementation so this is a high overview of a complete implementation project as a consultants a basis consultants created the user ids user id uh, for fi consultant he created one user id here here one user id here one user id what to do next means these servers are different c server num number is different this server number is different this server number is different that means uh, this is sap this is sap sap logon sap logon screen from here we have to log on we have to create entries here for development one entry production one entry quality one entry because if you double click on this you will get this screen so what uh, we need to ask the we need to ask the basis consultant for giving the credentials what is the application server and instance number and system id these details we have to get from the basis consultant that i will show you in next session with the help of these credentials we are going to create these entries and we will try to understand the sap uh, inside the logon screen hope you understand the concept if you don't understand raise the query uh, in question and answers i will try to answer thank you very much